and, and, and describes them as skyrocketing. This national energy tax will be disastrous, particularly in light of our national energy, or excuse me, and our nation's current economic circumstances. As an alternative, I support and all the other energy policy to end our dependence on foreign oil. I support increasing domestic exploration for oil, investing in biofuels, alternative fuels, clean coal, and nuclear technology. With today's science, Some I believe we can inspired. make these critical. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For what purpose does the gentleman from Arkansas rise? Is that, is that objection? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to honor one of America's bravest, First Sergeant Blue Rowe, who sacrificed his life in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. In 1994, after graduating from Siloam Springs High School, Blue enlisted in the Army. He served honorably all over the world, earned several military awards, including the Meritorious Service Medal and Posthumous Combat Action Badge and a bronze star. Blue's family and friends describe him as funny, compassionate, hardworking, and 100% Arkansan. A lifelong Razorback fan, it wasn't out of the ordinary for Blue to leave Northwest Arkansas with a bag full of new Razorback gear and show his support for the team while stationed in California. Blue made the ultimate sacrifice for his country. He is a true American hero. I ask my colleagues to keep Blue's family and friends in their thoughts and prayers during these very difficult times, and I humbly offer my thanks to Army First Sergeant Blue Rowe for his selfless service to the security and well-being of all Americans. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, the Chair will postpone further proceedings today on motions to suspend the rules on which a recorded vote of the yeas and nays are ordered or on which the vote incurs objection under Clause 6 of Rule 20. Record votes and postponed questions will be taken after 6.30 p.m. today. For what purpose does the gentleman from Virgin Islands rise? Mr. Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass H.R. 325. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 325, a bill to amend the Reclamation, Wastewater, and Groundwater Study and Facilities Act to authorize the Secretary of the Interior to participate in the Avra Black Wash Reclamation and Riparian Restoration Project. Pursuant to the rule, the gentlewoman from the Virgin Islands, Mrs. Christensen, and the gentleman from Colorado, Mr. Lamborn, each will, each will control 20 minutes. The Chair recognizes the, gentle, the gentlewoman from the Virgin Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five days to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on the bill under consideration. Without objection. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, H.R. 325 was sponsored by the National Parks, Forests, and Public Lands Subcommittee Chairman Raul Guijalva, authorizes the Secretary of the Interior to participate in the Avra Black Wash Reclamation and Riparian Restoration Project. The extremely arid conditions and climate of the Tucson, Arizona metropolitan area requires careful and innovative planning of both water supply and wastewater treatment systems. The proposed Avra Valley Reclamation and Riparian Rest Restoration Site would spread treated wastewater on mesquite riparian forest and blackwash, creating valu valuable riparian habitat for migrating birds while recharging groundwater for the greater Tucson area. I commend Mr. Grijalva for bringing this legislation to our attention, and I urge my colleagues to support the passage of, of H.R. 325. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves the balance of her time. The gentleman from Colorado. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. The Democratic bill manager has adequately explained.